Hey, I got some requests on how to code a non-linear gauge. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, with this airspeed indicator. I made it very simple, so it's uh, so it's easy to do, so it won't be uh, too long. But you just get the yeah the way of how to do this. It's it's very simple. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start uh, with, um, yeah, we have an airspeed indicator and there are a few parts. Uh, there's a part from 0 to 20, 20 to 50, 50 to 90, until 90, and 90, and 90 till 110. And, um, First, I want to find out all the angles for the different airspeeds. Um, so I'm going to add a variable subscribe. I'm going to use a explain uh, subscribe. It can be FSX, doesn't really matter. So we'll start with expl data ref subscribe. And then we're going to Copy the data ref for the indicated airspeed, which is a float. And we're going to give it a callback name. I'll call it new data. It doesn't really matter what name you give it. So we need to add the function new data. And uh, it's not, so I filled in not, doesn't really matter also and we'll close the function. So first we want to find out all the angles. So we're going to just use image rotate, image needle, and knots. This is, this is just uh, my way of doing it. Um, there might be other ways, I don't know, but this works for me. So run, and you'll see the data ref here. And if I fill in something here, like say 80 or something, then it rotates to 80 degrees. And as I told, we have 0 to 20, 20 to uh, 50, 50 to 90, and 90 to 110. So first I have to find out the number of degrees for 20. Uh, I did this screencast uh, a couple of times, went wrong, so if I remember correctly it was 22. Uh, I had to fiddle away, fiddle, fiddle a bit, so like uh, 20 and what? Well, no, 22. There it is, so 22. Uh, 50 uh, is at, uh, I should do this difference, it's more like this. 20. Excuse me, so 50 is 90 degrees, 90 is I think it was 225, yeah, 225, and 110, I think it was 307, yeah, okay, um, well, you obviously, if you go to gauge, you don't know how many number, uh, the number of degrees, so you have to just, uh, Fill something in, and then you see. Oh no, it's going to be more. Three hundred. Nope, still not. Three hundred and five. Well, etc. Three hundred and seven. And then you always want to start with the, the highest. You want to start with the highest airspeed. So um, that's oops, ninety. Uh, for the last part, so we'll say if 
two knots is more than 90, then I'm going to rotate. Uh, that last part is 307 minus 225 is 82. And it's uh, 110 minus 90 is 20. Divided by 20 times knots. And here we have to uh, subtract the start value, which is 90. And since it starts at 225, I'm going to add 225. I'm going to give it a quick test. And run. And let's say 100. Voila. And we're going to do the same thing for... Uh, what was... 5290. So say else if nuts is more than 50 and then I can copy this part and that's 225 minus 90 is 135 135 divided by uh, 40, 50 to 90, uh, oops. and we do minus 50, and we'll start, uh, yeah, we start at 90 degrees, so plus 90, next one is uh, 20, there there so that's not more than 20 then i'm gonna do paste again um that's 90 minus 22 is 68 and going from 20 to 50 so it's 30 knots minus 20 we start at 22 okay and the last part we can use else because oh, um, yeah all else everything has been covered here so this is the last part, which is 22 degrees divided by 20. We don't need to subtract anything and we don't need to, don't need to add anything. So this should be it. Moment of truth. Yep. Uh, 40, yep, works, 10, 5, yeah, etc, uh, 80, and so on. Um, what I sometimes do is uh, make this part exponential, so, because uh, uh, it won't be linear between 0 and 20. It will build up slowly. So what will probably happen is uh, this will be 5 knots, and this will be 10, and this will be 15 and 20. So you need to add a, a exponential, what's it called, equation, I don't know, uh, in here. Uh, which is too much for this uh, screencast, maybe some other time if people want to see this.
Um, yeah, just to as an extra, I can add a, a variable variable subscribe f six variable subscribe. Ooh, to see variables. Uh, yep. Can I speed through? Yeah, I indicated the beginning. Of it. Voila. Mm, uh, of course, not. Not. And we can give it the same callback. So you'll see now if I turn this to uh, FSX, for example. Or is it? There is it. And I fill in 50. Yeah, well, <laughs> ta da. Does the same. Um, yeah, it works the same for, uh, yeah, uh, RPM, temperature, whatever. It's just this, uh, you always start with the highest value, uh, like, uh, before the, yeah, the highest, no, the lowest value for the highest part. I think you get what I'm, I'm after. Um, so in this case, it's 90 because these parts are the same. Um, uh, one thing we could add is just as nice to have is a cap the value so we say nuts is for cap nuts and lowest value zero and the highest value was 110 so if i fill in 140 you'll see it uh, stays at 110 so yeah that's it for this lesson and if you have any other questions uh, let me know and i'll see if i can do another screencast just a short one just to show you uh, the basic stuff and uh, yeah hope you get uh, a bit smarter until next time bye bye